let's talk about the evolution of atomic theory. After Dalton's atomic theory was introduced in 1803, progress slowed for a while. This is until English physicist J.J. Thompson shook things up with his famous plum pudding model. What, did he really like pudding or something? Using a cathode ray tube, this funny looking device, Thompson discovered the electron, a subatomic negatively charged particle much smaller than an atom. He then proposed the plum pudding model, where electrons were scattered throughout a positively charged sphere, kind of like raisins floating in plum pudding, an English dessert. Okay, I mean, that does sound kind of yummy. After Thompson, the next big leap in atomic theory came from Ernest Rutherford, a physicist from New Zealand. By using the radioactive decay of radium, he experimented with alpha particles, which are positively charged. In his experiment, Rutherford fired these alpha particles at a thin sheet of gold foil. He observed that, while a few bounced back or deflected, most particles passed straight through. Rutherford's gold foil experiment led him to the following conclusion. Atoms are mostly empty space, allowing most particles to pass through, and each atom has a small, dense, positively charged center, called the nucleus. That's unreal, it's, it's like they phased right through solid material. Exactly, and from this experiment, Rutherford also discovered the proton, the positively charged particle found in the nucleus. 